guys in the gym this morning. Just finished my workout, my massage, my sauna. Just want to come and talk to everyone. Back on my routine of weight loss. Gained a little bit, lost a little bit during this holiday season. But I'm back on it. Early morning workout with my son. My knee is hurting. I think I got some fluid in there. So, but I got on the treadmill and I did the bike for a while. My shoulder's hurting too, so I didn't do any weights today. My right shoulder's aching when I can't raise it too long, just like I had to switch palms to snap hands with the palm because I can't pick up anything. Not even one pound with my um with my right hand. So I'm not gonna mess around with the weights today. I'm gonna go to my doctor on Monday and let them see what's going on with my arm, my shoulder. But I feel pretty good. I worked out a sweat. Everybody need to get up and do something. I had a talk with my son last night. He said, Mom, I want you to live. Mm -hmm. That makes me more motivated when my kids are worried. More about my health, you know. So I'm going to live. I'm going to stay as long as the good Lord allow me to. And I'm going to work out and do whatever I need to do to lose this weight. Because it makes no sense for me to be this overweight. But I think I need to get in touch with my doctor because I've been watching my weight and it fluctuates. I dropped nine pounds in one day, so I think that's fluid. I was up cooking and Christmas shopping. And I had to um, lay down for a whole day after Christmas. So I'm going to sit you all up because I'm a little tired. sauna and work up about five or six more minutes. We've been here almost two hours. I know my son is about ready to go. But I started in the sauna stretching my body. And I normally end with a massage trying to get um, my body stretched and everything. So I'm going to go in and enjoy problems and I need to ask my doctor is it a good idea for me to go in there but my weight is down um, like I said I gained nine pounds in my day I know that's good excuse the noise in the background to leave and I didn't want them to think I was videotaping them because I'm not. It's 
spot. I mean, oh, feels good to be out. Been in the house all day, all week, rather. This heat feels so good to my bones, guys. Oh my goodness, I just can't stay in here long because it bothers my my breathing. Oh, but it feels good. Quiet. No one's in here but me. When I put my legs up, feel this good heat. Makes my joints feel so good. I want my left knee and my right shoulder hurting. It feels good. So I did a um, mile on the, I did a mile on the treadmill. No, I'm sorry, half a mile on the treadmill this morning. I tried the elliptical for a little bit. I can't do that long, but I'm gonna keep trying <laughs> every time I come um, so I can increase the time I'm on it. Um, I heard the elliptical is good to help you to lose weight. So I want to make sure I try everything in this gym. I got, I got on the bike, and I did two miles on the bike. So, and I did some stretches early in here when I first started. Did stretches in here. And I'm probably gonna just relax in here just for five minutes and then my workout was gonna be done because I don't want to overexert my body. I don't want to be back in the bed today. It's like you got to start all over, you know. Every week, I don't want to strain. I normally do all my weights and everything. But not the way my shoulder and my knee feel. I got on the um, elliptical and I couldn't stay on that because my knee started popping. And I didn't want to fall with all these people in this gym. So I got my little granny leg off there <laughs> and hopped on over to the to the bike. But yeah, just wanted to come in and check in. Hadn't made a video in a few days, and it's not like I said it's not gonna be a daily one, but I want to at least do two or three a week to let everybody know how I'm feeling physically and emotionally. And to let everybody know about how my weight loss is. Oh, I wanted to let everyone know. Um, I did. I think I talked in an earlier video that I went in for a sleep study last Friday. Um, I got the results. I already knew I had severe obstruction, so they put me on a new machine, and I still gonna have to do the full. It's not gonna be the whole one like I have now face mask. It's just going to be right here. So I, I don't quite know the name of it yet, but when I get the new machine, I'll let everybody know what's the name of it. And they said that they tried two different masks on me when I went there. And the second mask helped me um, breathe because, you know, originally I stopped breathing 28 times at night. 28 times. So um, the man didn't tell me exactly how many times I stopped, but um, it was enough for him to switch mask. And he said, once I did that, I didn't stop breathing, but I did have some snoring. So my home, my doctors got to get together, figure things out. I need to go see my thyroid doctor because I think something's going on with my thyroid also. Well, you know, I had the surgery to remove my thyroid, but I think my medicine needs to be adjusted. Because that's what the doctor said also about all this weight pulling on me. They don't know. They don't know. Only the good Lord knows. Um, this thinking that that might have something to do with that also. 
because I'm on a lot of, I'm on two different kind of blood pressure medicines. So I shouldn't be having all this problem with fluid, but when my body gets overworked and I do have rheumatoid arthritis, I have to rest my body. I can't do like I normally do. So, well, let me get out of here because I feel kind of dry. And this, um, I'm sure my son is probably almost ready to go. So, everyone have a blessed Saturday. And stay safe. Talk to you another day. God bless.